Hey guys, today we are going to look at Oath of a Johnny's price point and talk more about pre-ordering and what happens to prices when the card is not in stock. Oath of a Johnny began at $7, which is insane for a non-mythic and a set worth expeditions. Expeditions or masterpieces, inventions, whatever you want to call them, they are incredibly interesting in what they do to the price point. Very few rares, Smuggler Copter is the exception, can go over the price of a booster pack. And that's just because the Expeditions, although we don't know what they are, the Masterpieces will soak up a tremendous amount of value in terms of experience expected value otherwise a store remember if a store can make money from opening packs they will open all the packs they have therefore there has to be a equilibrium where the store cannot make money from opening packs and the customer is the only one interested in opening packs because they enjoy playing magic rather than making a profit so johnny oath of a johnny went down from seven dollars to four dollars this is a dramatic drop almost a dropping by half what typically happens is once we see more and more cards cards will go up cards will go down but the general trend is cards will go down in price i expect that to happen a lot around when the new masterpieces are spoiled the general set will just collapse in price that is what magic the gathering is like right now uh, it is not good to pre-order it Almost 95 to 99% of the time when you pre-order a card, it will go down. It's very hard to pre-order a card and have it go up. So when you talk about the Elspeths or the Voice of Resurgences or the Archangels, those are the one or two cards in an entire set that will double, triple in price from pre-order prices because uh, their pre-order is too low. So $4, you might say, oh, that's a very good price for Oath of Ajani. Take a look at the other Oaths, Oath of Gideon, Oath of Chandra is very good, Nissa's. They are very, very cheap and very affordable. I expect Oath of Ajani to eventually be a dollar or two. It's a fun card. It looks very good in the correct deck, but unless it sees Pro Tour level play or tons of casual play it's a rare and a set with masterpieces and that's all that really needs to be said for it smuggler copter i'll make a t totally different video about it dissecting exactly what made it i mean it's pretty easy it's a four of in every single deck and standard that kind of helps very similar to hang a back walker the fact that this is two color green and white limits it Smuggler Copter is not limited by colors in any way, so it can fit any type of deck and make it better, just like Hanger Backwalker. So Oath of Ajani, $4. I believe it will still go down in price, but we will see. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.